Here are Will and Zach at it again. They're going from source to sea, and they've made significant progress. At this point, they're about 30 days into their four-month-long trip and have paddled hundreds of miles down the Green River to Flaming Gorge Reservoir. On this segment of their journey, they're lucky enough to have Jonathan Cooley join them. So I'm here on Flaming Gorge Reservoir in southwestern Wyoming, and I've come up here from Colorado in part to join and support um, a larger expedition, the um, Source to the Sea expedition, in which um, two people are paddling from the source of the Green River in, in the Wind River Range in Wyoming um, to the Sea of Cortez after it joins the Colorado River. Um, one of the other reasons I've come up here from Colorado um, is because there's been a proposal recently, um, or the resurrection of an old proposal to run a pipeline from this reservoir um, some 500 miles to the front range of Colorado to supply municipal water to those cities. So all the people of, of, of Wyoming and, and Utah and, and Colorado and New Mexico, the upper basin states um, that pertain to water use in the Colorado drainage basin have a stake in what happens to this water and um, I encourage them to, to look into this project and and make themselves heard on what it means to them. What Jonathan brought up is what this whole journey is about. With the new information and perspectives we have, do we want to continue to degrade the Colorado River system in the same manner as the past? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> quite a different world out there that you're all living in. The yeah. unreal world. We're about to go back into the real world here. Well, we're about to get kind of. ported to the Flaming Gorge <laughs> Dam and paddle down like 10 miles before dark. Somehow, you know, it's like 4 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I'm kind of moving fast. Head to the cliff. Here we are. Again. <laughs> this time, in front of the Flaming Gorge Dam. That <laughs> wall of concrete that's been making our journey so look at it tiresome. It's huge. Ah, it's <laughs> so we uh, just paddled up to the edge of the dam. The sheriffs were waiting for us, and uh, they've been informed in the Dutch John Cafe that we were coming. So we loaded our boats in the back of their SUVs, turned the lights on, cruised across the dam, back down to the river here, and. Uh, Saved us about three hours of hard portaging in about two minutes, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, the Flaming Gorge Concrete Plug. Wait, where did, yeah, did we, you guys come from again? We were just, we came from the source. No, you came all the way from the source, and now we're gonna reap the benefits of having a raft, our first raft supported section of this journey. And here how the water comes down at the door with the rush and the roar. We're standing here in the middle of Ladora Canyon, one of the wildest places the river has gone so far, cutting right into this Uinta Mountains, um, deep, narrow gorge, and we haven't really seen anything like that except for the drowned waters of Flaming Gorge. So it's good, good to be in here. Will wasn't kidding about it being the wildest and deepest canyon they've been in. There was more weather and wildlife than ever.
Oh. Yes, the sun! It's coming. Bow down before it. The maker of wood and flame and life and fruit. The weather brightened up as they neared Desolation Canyon, where Zack and Will planned to split up for some time alone.